Welcome back to the channel. We have a really cool print on press today in which we are going to print it on black and white shirts. And we're just going to show you our process as to how we would go about printing it on both those black and white shirts. But let me show you the design real quick. We're in the computer and I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how I went about separating this artwork. So that way it will work with black shirts, white shirts, even color shirts. So let's go ahead and dive in. Here is the file that the client has provided. So the first thing we need to do is make our white base. I'm gonna go over here to channels. So I'm going to scroll over the RGB channel. I'm gonna hold down command. If you're on a PC, be sure to hit control. We're just gonna click on that RGB layer. Then we're gonna go down to the bottom and we're gonna make a new mask out of that. And then we're going to deselect the selection here and I just use command D. Now we're going to go to the, the new channel that we've created and now that we have our white base created I'm just going to double click on this channel we'll call it white base and we'll make it a spot color and then we'll choose white as our color and we'll make that 100% and we'll hit OK. Next I'm going to I'm just going to go ahead and make a channel for our t-shirt as well. We'll call this our t-shirt color. And I'm going to make this black at the moment. But we can kind of toggle back and forth between it being a black t-shirt, a white t-shirt. And we'll show you how this, this all works. I'm going to go back to my RGB layer. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go through and we're going to select each of our colors throughout this particular piece here. And we're going to start with our reds and we're going to kind of move down the line, selecting red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, magenta, our gray and our black, as well as our, our highlights as well. And I'll show you how this all works, but let's first start out with red. So we're just going to select reds. We're gonna hit okay. Then we're gonna come down here to the bottom and you'll find that this is a little bit of a repetitive process. So I'm going to just go ahead and select that. Now I'm going to deselect, go down to my channel here. As you can see, it's kind of inverse. So I'm gonna hit command I to inverse that. So that way what is black will actually be the red that is printed. Now I'm gonna double click on that layer. Let's call it red. We'll make it a spot color. And let's do this one at 15%. This solidity down here really just is kind of a, a, just a screen representation. Let's go ahead and hit OK. And you can see how we're starting to, to build up our image. We're going to start stacking these colors. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our yellow, but we need to go back and select our RGB channel. We're going to go to select. We're going to go to color range and we're just gonna move right on down the line. Same thing, I'm gonna do yellow. I'm gonna make a new channel or spot color. I'm going to inverse that, double click on it. I'm gonna call this yellow. We'll call it yellow spot so that way it doesn't confuse. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in a moment. And we're going to make sure that this is just 100% yellow. We'll hit okay. Again, we'll make our solidity 15%. And you can see we're starting to slowly stack these colors up. But let's continue to go down the line, shall we? Select color range. We're gonna do greens now. We're gonna hit OK. And then we'll make a new channel. We'll deselect it. Don't forget to deselect because that's a pretty important one. And we'll make this green. And we'll come over here and we'll make a nice green color we'll make this 15 percent and i'm going to go back to rgb we're just going to keep on moving along we're going to do cyans hit okay at times you might get this little war warning just completely ignore that and we'll make it a new channel we're going to inverse that you can see that there is some information there so let's go ahead and we'll just call this cyan spot. And we'll make this 100% cyan. Hit OK. Spot color. We'll call it 15%. Now we're going to do the blue. Select color range. We'll go to blues. We'll hit OK. Make a new channel. We'll deselect, 
inverse that, Command I, just hit Command D to deselect, Command I to, to inverse it. If you're on a PC, use the, the control. Now we'll make this a blue color. And it's not super important that these colors are 100% spot on uh, because what you use on press is really going to make all the difference. And we'll show you what colors we use to, to actually make this work. We'll make this 15% solidity. We'll hit OK. Go to RGB. We'll do select color range one more time. And we're going to do the magentas. I'm going to hit OK. Don't worry about that. We'll make a new channel here. We'll deselect it. Hit Command I. As you can see, there's not a whole lot there. And I'll show you how to, to kind of merge that into the red so that way we're not losing any of that detail. But for now, go ahead and label it magenta. Call it magenta spot. Again, I'll show you why. Rather than just calling it magenta, while I'm why I'm calling it magenta spot. Alright, 15%. Alright, so we've got most of our colors here. If we turn all of this on. We are missing black. So if I turn this t-shirt off, this black t-shirt color, this is how it would look on a white shirt. So we need to fix that because we do need this black here. So let's go up to select color range and we're gonna go down to the shadows. While I'm selecting my black color, one of the things that is very helpful is to actually use one of these settings down here, whichever works best for you, we can do this and this here. This looks like it, it'll work well in the sense that now I can see what I'm grabbing as far as what I'm adding to it. What I, what, where I'm adding black? Where, just where I'm adding the black at. There are some, if we go back to uh, none, we can kind of see that this red is a little bit darker, so we do want some black up in there. Let's go back to our white mask. We've got a little bit of that. It's starting to pull or add some black into those areas, which is a good thing. And I'm gonna mess with this just a little bit. You can always go backwards if you add too much black uh, once we start doing some final adjustments but you can't add it back in there. I mean, you can, but you just kind of have to start all over. So let's add a little more than is absolutely necessary. Just a touch. All right, I think that's great. Let's go ahead and hit OK. Now let's go ahead and make our channel. We'll be sure to deselect that and we'll inverse it. So now we have our black. We're gonna double click. We'll call this black spot. I get a spot color, we'll choose black and we'll call this 15%. We'll see how that looks. Now what we need to do is create a gray spot color because we do have some gray just kind of all over the place, really. We've got this medium gray, we've got this lighter gray, we've got this darker gray. We'll use this medium gray as a basis to choose some of our, the gray for our gray spot color. <laughs> and there's a little bit of gray here We'll grab up some of that just to kind of help with the transition as well as this area up here There are some little transitional areas which the gray having that gray spot color will help that as well So let's go up to select color range and we're gonna use our eyedropper this time and We're just gonna go down here and we're gonna select right here in this gray and we'll We'll take a look at and just see what it's it's all grabbing. So I'm pretty happy with that because it is grabbing some of those areas that we were talking about. We got a little bit of it up here. Again, you can always pull back some of that gray if you feel like you've grabbed too much. I'm right at about 112. So we'll hit OK. Now we've got ourselves a selection. We're gonna come down here. We're gonna make a new channel. We're gonna deselect that. We'll double click on it. We'll call this gray spot. We'll make this a spot color and we'll just call it 50% here in the black. The rest of these I'll make zero. So we'll hit OK. We'll call this 15%. Now that we have our gray spot color, let's go ahead and turn everything on and see how everything is looking. We'll turn off our black shirt. 
one of the things we still need to do is we do need to, if we turn our black spot color off, we need to go back, let's turn the black t-shirt on. We need to knock out the white because we don't want to print black on top of white. I just don't recommend it. it. Black really doesn't need an underbase. So we're just going to print that right onto the shirt, even for our black t-shirts, just to keep things consistent. So let's hover above the black spot here. I'm just going to hold command down and click on spot, the black spot color. We'll go up to our white base and then we're just going to fill it with this white right here in order to just remove where this white would be printing. So I'm gonna hit Command Delete and that will just fill it with white. You can go to Edit and Fill. We're gonna deselect that. Now let's turn everything on and see what, see how it's looking. Turn off our black shirt. There we go, it's looking pretty good. It might look a little faded here, but one of the things you want to keep an eye out for when you are doing separations is, you can see that we have quite a bit of red in here. Plus, you know, our, our image here really isn't red. It's a little bit of a maroon color. And with having this black spot color combined with how much white base we're putting down, that will actually make those colors, if you know what I mean. So we're looking pretty good. One of the things that we still need to do is go back and create our white highlight color. So let's go back to our RGB and I'm going to go up to select and color range and in the areas where it's a really bright white, say for example, down here, we can take our, <laughs> hi Apollo, <laughs> Apollo's growling. So we're gonna go down here to our white and we're gonna select that. You can see that we're just grabbing a little bit of the, the white areas that just really need to be pumped up. So I think that looks good. Let's go ahead and hit OK. We'll make a new channel. We'll deselect that. We'll come over here. We'll hit Command I to inverse that. We'll call this our white highlight. We'll make it a spot color. We'll hit OK. And we'll make this 100%. And we'll turn everything on. We'll turn our black shirt off. See how it would look on a white shirt. At this point, you're probably saying, I don't even have that many colors on press. I don't either. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So for us, we need to reduce it down by at least two colors. The magenta, we talked about that earlier. There really isn't a whole lot of information there. So rather than just deleting it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge some of that color information into the red. And I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to select red. We're going to, to go to image and then apply image. Now we have our, our target channel, which is our red. So I selected that first and we're going to select our magenta spot and we're going to use multiply and you can kind of preview and see that it's actually adding to our channel here. So that way we're not losing any of that information. So I'm going to hit OK. So now it's applied the magenta spot information to the red. So now we can take our magenta spot and we can just go ahead and delete that. Let's see what else we can reduce. Our cyan, I don't think there's a whole lot of cyan that's really going into this image. Uh, you know, I take that back. We do, however, there's one of these colors I'm just not completely psyched about and that is how it's just really putting together this this blue. This is quite a large area and there's not enough of a difference here in my opinion. So what I want to do is we'll take this cyan and we're gonna make it more of a Columbia blue just like this here. So let's go over to our cyan and aside from this somewhat of a, a royal blue here, if we go back to our image you can see we've got royal blue going on. What I want to do is I'm just going to make the cyan here that's in the face of this pit bull. We're just going to make that a Columbia blue. So let's go back to our, our cyan spot. We'll take our lasso tool here. All right, we have our bandana selected. I'm going to hit command L on the keyboard, which brings up our levels. I'm going to take this white selection here. 
this white eyedropper. I'm going to select that just to completely pull all of the color information out of that bandana. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to deselect it. And now I'm going to go to levels one more time. We're going to take our black eyedropper. I'm going to select right here in this, the color of the, the pit bull's face where it just really needs to be that Columbia blue. And we'll hit OK. Now we're going to come over here. Let's um, go back to our RGB. We'll grab this color here. I'm just going to click on the swatch here. We'll copy this color code. We'll just close that out. We'll go back to our cyan spot. We'll double click on that. We'll change our color. And paste that color code right here. So we're using the exact color. And we'll hit OK. Now let's see what we got. Okay, it's looking pretty good. You can see that there is some of this blue that is getting into the face of the pit bull here. So we're going to just hover over the, the cyan, which let's go ahead and change that to Columbia Blue. We'll hit OK. And we'll hold Command down, select the Columbia Blue. We'll come over to our blue spot color and we're just going to fill that with white and then we'll deselect it just to get rid of where this Columbia blue would be inside of what is now going to be our royal blue. Let's go ahead and we'll change that. We'll change that to royal blue and we'll hit OK. And let me go back and grab this color here, which is our royal blue. We'll copy that. We'll hit OK. We'll change this color out and we'll paste the color information here. Hit OK. Now let's turn everything on and see what it looks like. All right, there's one thing we need to do to the royal blue. Let's go back and we'll need to go in here and make this 100%. So I hit Command L to bring up levels. You can always go up to image adjustment and then levels. We'll grab this black selector. We'll click right here in this area just to make that, uh, just really fill with that Columbia, or excuse me, the Royal Blue. Now we're getting somewhere. You see how this is it's starting to, to come together. All right, let's see how many colors we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we still have nine colors here. So what I think I am going to do in this particular case is we are going to retain the black and we'll end up replacing the white base with the black. So we'll put that, that black spot color up here and we'll just end up replacing the white base and we can just print everything wet up. Uh, we can print everything wet on wet with, once we get to our white shirts. But for the black shirts, we can just do away with even using the, the black spot and uh, everything will turn out as you see here. Uh, again, what you see screen representation wise doesn't always equal what you're getting on press. So let's go ahead and save this as a, a final. And I'll show you how to, to print it out and then we'll expose some screens and then we'll, we'll go back to the press and I'll show you exactly how this will end up working out on press. So we'll go ahead and we'll save this as Pure Rain Seps. And we'll be sure to include our alpha channels, layers, all that stuff. We'll hit save. Now we're going to go over to Adobe Illustrator. Now we're finished with our separations. And I'm going to open up our t-shirt. Uh, and I'm going to open up our t-shirt registration template, which we'll leave a link down in the description so you can grab that up. So we'll go over to our templates, find our t-shirt registration template. We'll open that up and then we'll bring in our separations. And what that is going to do, because we did make those spot colors, is it will import all those spot colors into Adobe Illustrator. So when we go to print our separations, our registration marks, all that color information is there and I'll show you here in a second. Again, don't worry too much about the representation. What you're really looking for is how all these colors will, will be printing down. And it just takes, it takes some time to, to really get an eye for how all this stuff works. But I'm, I'm gonna help you guys along the way. We'll get it figured out. So 
I'm gonna pull my artwork down below my registration marks. We'll just lock that artwork and we're going to unlock our center mark and our registration marks. And we'll just move this up to the top. We'll move these down as well. Something I kind of skipped, which this is a little bit more advanced. Just be sure that when you are doing your separations that your image is to print size in Photoshop and that you're at least at 150, 200 DPI, ideally 300. But let's go ahead and we're gonna make this document just a little bit bigger. Uh, let's make it 19 inches high. So that way our registration marks aren't sitting inside our image. It'll give us a little bit more room just to tape these, these marks off. And because these registration marks and these center marks are registration color, it will actually print out these registration marks on every single color. It does look like I need to make my document just a little bit wider because this is an oversized print. So let's call this 15. Looks like we go a little bit wider. Let's make it 16. All right, so we're all set. Our art is within our artboard. Now what we can do is we can go ahead and we'll print this out. I'm gonna hit Command P and we'll send this to our Epson 4800 and we'll do a, a custom size here so that way everything fits. Looks good, now if we go to output, what you'll see is you do have the CMYK. Uh, that's just your, your preview. In Photoshop, you can delete your RG, RGB layers, but I tend just to keep it so that way we can always go back to that Photoshop document. And we have our, our black, our Columbia blue, our gray, our green. We've got our red, our royal blue, our white base, and our white highlight, as well as our yellow spot. Uh, keep in mind the order that we had it in Photoshop is the order that you do want to print it. So our print order in this case would be our white base, our red. We would do our, our royal blue, our yellow, our Columbia blue. Uh, then we would do our green followed by our gray and our white highlight. Once we go over to our white shirts, we'll just switch out this uh, black spot screen for the white base. We'll print that black first. It might sound crazy, but when you're printing that black down, you print a color on top of it, it's still going to, uh, they're going to blend together even more so because it's at the first station and you're going to get some of those darker tones. So the next step would be to print this and we did ours at 45 LPI through AccuRip. As you can see here, 45 LPI at 22.5 degree angle. We're using a round half tone. So let's go over the press now that I've kind of showed you guys how to separate this and we'll show you how it all turns out. Now that you got a good understanding of how the art was separated, Mario's already hitting it up on the press. We got everything set up and we'll show you all the colors on press in action. we have this set up as you just saw we do have a white base we are flashing the shirt and then we're printing red followed by yellow in order to make our oranges we have a royal blue what color is this we have columbia blue almost forgot what the color was 
and then we've got green followed by gray and our white top now we have a separate screen that we're going to use black for the white t-shirts Mario is going to take down the white screen we're going to install the black screen and then we're going to register everything up and we'll show you how everything comes out with that black on position number one I think it's going to come out pretty awesome what do you think Mario great now what we're doing at the moment we've printed the black everything's been registered up and we're using the same colors aside from the white base to do our white shirts so we're gonna let this go around hit the rest of the colors and we'll show you what it looks like what do you think Mario what do you think we're good a few adjustments we bring it this way a little bit yeah it looks like we could move the registration just a little bit so Mario's gonna run off another. One of the things about spot process is you gotta run off a handful of samples. Make sure your registration is spot on. So that's what we're doing at the moment. As soon as we get it dialed in, we'll show you the results. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.